Greetings and welcome to episode 15 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Great Britain campaign and this my friends how we left it last time where we were finally pushing in against the last remnants of the French Empire here in Europe and if we trick Tras Strasbourg this is every opportunity every chance my friends the entirety of the French Empire will collapse and it will therefore become sort of a, a rebellion or even sort of a Quebec type scenario my friends where Quebec sort of c becomes alive and rises from the ashes of the um, of the French Empire but I'm not 100% sure if that is correct or not so please excuse me friends if I'm wrong with that but this is the army that we brought in from India we pr pretty much had to abandon India to be able to give ourselves the troops and the push and the sort of there was the zeal we needed to be able to take on the French because the French had declared war on us again and they've also managed to put together quite strong forces here nothing to be sniffed at here at all these are pretty powerful forces never underestimate your opponents my friends never ever ever this is how we le this is how we find ourselves right now my friends right now attacking straight into the teeth here of a full pretty much a full stack army for them all of these combined we are not going to yield at all my friends as you can see here we've brought a lot of cavalry with us a lot of cannon a lot of line infantry here and also to stiffen up the resolve the backbone of our troops grenadiers my friends absolutely they've traveled a huge amount of, of distance to get here but by damn they will they will finally thrust that sword through the heart of the french empire once and for all here at strasbourg I was considering giving Strasbourg to the Dutch. Now I'm not I'm not in a hundred percent sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. We do need the money. We do need the this sort of we do need this region here to probably boost our income because we are a little short of money at the moment, or we are sort of on that edge where we've got that fine balance between keeping a, 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 a good well stocked army as it were and also keeping our economy afloat and trying to keep it on an even keel. But my friends, enough talking here. We we are gonna begin this battle with with zeal my friends and with courage we are not going to back down at all i wish it was a bit, a bit of a river fight but it looks like it's going to be it looks like it's going to be more of a sort of forest fight here we could actually find ourselves on some quite nice hills here but we won't find out my friends and that is the fight let's do this and indeed my friends we now go into this with our eyes fully open expecting the french not to give up their last region here in europe remember this is their last new sort of a mainland Europe region. They've got other regions dotted around, but this is the one that they're holding on to. They actually went to peace with us to try and keep this out of our hands because I was going to push in and take Strasbourg out. And in hindsight, that is what I should have done. But hindsight is a wonderful thing, my friends. After the event, everything looks good. But during the time, we needed to give ourselves a break because we were fighting the Spanish as well. And that was a tough fight, my friends. But we managed to rout the Spanish in the south and now the last remnants the last bastion here of french dominance in europe stands before us ho, 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 ho. look at this as i suspected we are looking at a vat looking at we're looking right down upon the valley here but actually when you look at it when you go down to sort of eye level here we're actually firing pretty much on even keyboard we do have the upper hand in terms of the sort of gradient here of the hill Ooh, look at this as well quite a few dips and bumps all along here oh look at that up there look at this up here what a magnificent place with which to put some infantry units maybe some cavalry running through these forests here blindsiding the french as it were oh, 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 oh. look at this oh my word i am definitely setting up here right here Wow, perfection! But first of all, we get our cavalry, we get our cavalry in the right position where we needed to be. Again, a mailed fist, my friends. Absolutely, gentlemen, please. Hidden, beautiful. And two more regiments, first and seventh. Oh, we got lancers, of course. We should have two lancers. We've got one lancer. No, we've got one lancer, and then we've got three regiments of horse and they haven't let us down yet we did have to bring them in to try and rout the french are they all hidden yeah they're all hidden look at that what a beautiful sight that is <clears throat> a nice forest over here just to keep everything protected i might even go for this for the french but 
I might even send some troops outwards, but first of all, I've got to get myself situated and secured. Or oh, wait, where will those reinforcements come in from? That is the critical position here, my friends. And actually, I'm probably going to leave myself where I am. Remember, they will have reinforcements coming in from one of the sides here. What I might do with those is just put my artillery a little bit closer to the front line than I normally do. Because you can see here, down here, you're in a sort of divot here. You're in this sort of valley here. You've got no line of sight. But up here, up here, I might actually close off this flank here with some troops and actually use this left-hand side here as my main deployment zone. So we're going to bring in our artillery, which is always is vital, my friends, here to our to this campaign. I'll actually put them on the, on the crest of the hill here. We're going to hold quite a high line. It's a higher line than I normally take here with my artillery. I don't like usually put my artillery this close to the front line, but needs must. But I wonder which side the reinforcements are going to be coming in from. That's the critical question here. But we must be ready no matter what. So, first is first is bring our grenadiers into the fore here, and they're going to be holding the the sort of the main that the upper line here. Oh, 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 oh look at this. First grenadiers right in the middle. Then we're gonna have the second grenadiers on the right. Third grenadiers on the left here. Okay, gotta have a contingency plan should things go awry. And last but not least, the sixth grenadiers. They're gonna go on the right here as well because the chances are we're gonna have more forces coming from this direction than over here, as you can see here. But that does not discount the reinforcements that are coming in from the French. Remember, there will be reinforcements here. And actually, I might just drop these back just a fraction. Still got a good reach here. And my general, as always, is going to be right here. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a 7th Regiment Militia. We're actually going to block off this side here. Remember, these can be altered, they can be changed around and manoeuvred to where we need them to be. Sixth Regiment. Actually, I might put the Eighth Regiment here. <coughs> Just take these away here. Eighth Regiment can go on the left here. We will probably see instant reinforcements from the French. That is why I have to be vigilant. I'm actually going to put the, the militia right on the edge here. Which is, of course, where we live our lives, my friends, right on the edge. Sixth Regiment on the right. I'm actually going to have plenty of troops here to be able to hold these French. So, if in that case, I'm going to put the 14th Regiment here. Just in case. And once again, I'm going to seal off the, the right hand flank. with the 5th Regiment, and we do have three regiments in reserve here. 15th. I always like to try and keep some reinforcements here, just in case things go a little bit awry. With the demarcation line right back here, so that's good. Then going to put the 16th Regiment here, behind for fire at will, just in case of any mistakes or hazards that come our way. And again here, again, I can switch all of these around as needed. But again, here is our main thrust here from our cavalry. Now, we've pretty much sealed ourselves off here. We've got a good, strong, firm line here, central line. We've got the sides covered. We've even got reinforcements, which I always do like to at least pull one or two regiments out of the line and use them as a good reinforcement here. But have a look at these hills here. What a beautiful sight. It looks like it be, could be getting late afternoon, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, let's begin this battle, my friends. Ho ho ho! Where are those reinforcements? There! Well, I'll be damned. So they're coming in from this. We are going to, my friends, begin. But they will have more coming in as well. Gotta be ever vigilant. Ever vigilant! These gentlemen could be moved. We're actually going to put... Wait a minute, wait a minute. The old spider sense is tingling here. Where are those main reserves? They've got a much larger army, but where is it going to be coming in from? That's the key question here. 
They've got these here. Where's that other army? Where is it? If I can pick these apart before they even get here. What a beautiful sight that'll be, but I've got to be wary, got to be vigilant. Oh, what a shot that was already! I'm not going a little bit too far here. I do want to pick off anything that comes our way here. Let's just start bringing myself into some kind of coherent hole here. Let's get some kind of strategy moving along here. Steady, lad, steady. Let me sniff that here at all. And the fire, continuous fire. Some of our Indian army. Hasn't got quite got its range yet. Ooh. Just skimmed a couple of heads there. Come on, gentlemen, get your range. Find your range. No, 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 no. Could be this sort of gone into this sort of Oh, that's a good shot. That was a good shot. Someone lost his head. Here they come. Are we gonna ambush one of these? Absolutely about timing here, my friends. Timing is vital here. We have to pick our targets very, very carefully indeed. I don't believe they've got cavalry or... Oh, that's a good shot. Just picking them apart bit by bit. Oh. Yes, good shot. He's far. It's a little bit too close to our lines. They're going to start firing down through our lines. We have to be careful here. We're going to wait for these gentlemen here to be brought into range. Prepare to fire, gentlemen. Prepare to fire. On my orders. to bed. Oh, 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 oh. It's a beautiful sight to see. It's a really is a beautiful sight to see. These grenadiers opening up. <laughs> no time! Gentlemen, hold firm. Of course, they're wavering. Let's bring them in ready. I'm going to tear these apart. Given even half a chance. Yes, they've gone. Steady, lads. We want them. We want them shattered. Move it before these gentlemen get in here quickly. Ready to pound. Steady, lads. Steady. Can we pick off these here?
Je follow your orders, gentlemen, please. Oh, what a shot that was. Let's pick them off. Get out of there, lads. Get out of there. Get out of there. Wait, wait for it. <laughs> oh, they've come back. What the blazes is going on here? What a mistake that was. Holy smoke. Phew. Gentlemen, move it. A foolish mistake. Steady lads, steady now. Hold. We've just got to wait to pick these off. They're eager, they're steady. Oh, look at that. What a shot that was. Cut them apart, lads. Cut them apart. I'm going to try and pick these off. I'm going to take one regiment here of cavalry and try and run through. Oh. Yeah, they're breaking all along the line here. Take out the world, peace world. There's foot guards here, if we can take these out. <laughs> oh, look at that, it's crashing into them. <coughs> crashing into them there, my friends. Beautifully done. <laughs> get out of there lads, get out, hit and run. Now we're going to swing these to meet this challenge. Step of our presence here. <laughs> Look at that, we've caused absolute havoc here in the flanks here. Hit and run, we've kept quite a lot of our troops available alive here. We've got this sort of V formation here forming. 
Should be able to straighten this line out here. We're going to shut the door here on them. Steady. Creepers, how many reinforcements they got here? Oh, what a shot that was. What a shot. Get out of there, lads. Get out of there. Gentlemen, let's have some discipline here, please. We've got someone coming for us here. But that actually... No, no, it doesn't. They've got so many troops moving in here. Jet, don't you dare break. smashed them in here my friends we have smashed them in i don't know how quite to deal with this yet so we're going to throw a militia into a, a battle here come on lads you can you can come back here if you don't i'm going to move in the 13th regiment just to take your two together and I'll pounce on this regiment here. It looks like this could be the last of their regiments coming in here. Here we come. As it's worked. Now they're following us in here. We dealt a good blow to these and now they will feel the full wrath of the British army against them. We helped out our friends here, our comrades. We're going to smash into the flank here. Cheapest creepers, that is a lot of 
got troops coming in off the line here. Good grief. Don't you dare break, don't you dare break. I gave you an order, gentlemen, you will obey it. steady now. Don't just leave them by themselves. How many forces have they got in this area here? Take care of these, please, gentlemen. As soon as these are broken, we're going to reshape our... Actually, we're going to reshape our line right now. Redeploy, gentlemen. Redeploy into a bait. That's a line, straight line. Come on, teach them much better. Actually, it's... it's yeah, that pace, yeah. Moment, lads. They've come back, will you look at that, I knew it. If you give them an inch, my friend, they will take a mile. Wow, we've broken it straight away. The bombardment did its work. <laughs> Let's try and break these once and for all. Get out of there. They've run out of ammunition. And therefore, they shall be sent into the fight hand to hand. And we're going to transfer them to this flank here. Trap them. Double formation here. Come on, just fall within our scope here.
Gentlemen, double time! This is not a training exercise. Move it! Guns brought to bear. Good grief, how many do they have here? Come on, lads, stand firm here. to them lads. Oh, oh. oh what a beautiful sight that is. Give them nothing, lads. I'm gonna crash into these. Now is the time to use those. Let's finish them off now, finish them off. Creepers, creep balls of fire, I kid you not, my friend. This is a fight and a half here. Well, while they're firing, get in there, straight into them. Come on, lads. Not slowly. <sighs> what a fight this is. You are going to hold, gentlemen. You are going to hold. They've gone. They've shot. They've broken. They've gone. They've had enough. Let's take care of these. forward <laughs> stick with them lads oh, good. tough bunch these tough bunch Giving us time to move in more. Yeah, well, look at that. Here they come. I don't think so. Gentlemen, I gave you an order. You will move out of here. Gentlemen, move. Stand that steady. 
we now wait for the order. Break these royal Baviere Baviere. Gentlemen, this is not a stroll in the park. Move! They're gonna break real soon, and when they do, I'm gonna pounce on them. Now we turn inwards. Holy smokes, what a fight this has been. Look at this. My word has been a tough fight. This is these friendships have really, really hung around. Don't you dare break. Don't you dare break. This is, these are tough as nails. Mind you, they'd be behind this wall here, so they've got lots of cover. But this should just keep them busy enough just until the... Don't you dare. Steady, lads. They're broken. Set 14th Regiment, they've gone, but by damn, what a fight this has been. No way to do it. Right, let's get down into it. did it my friends holy smokes what a fight that was wow what a fight <sighs> I knew that would be a tough fight but I didn't think it'd be that fight tough but mind you if we didn't have that army coming back from India we would have been in a lot of trouble because that proves how difficult that army was to take down but we've managed to really cripple it here let's have a look look how many they've lost 3188 look how many men they brought 4272 we lost roughly almost half of ours. They've lost a good chunk of theirs. So look at the statistics. Oh my word, look at that. Granted, look at these kills here. Phenomenal. The Grenadiers really given us that steel, that backbone here. But these East India Company, my friends, don't don't look down on them because they did fantastic well. And look at the Dutch. They're really starting now to blossom now. Wow. Oh, they've left it completely open to us. And they've retreated to there. We can't do that, sir. Can't do that, sir. Prepare, for Prepare for battle. 
but then we shall sit here and wait but look at that see you've got to be very careful with the auto resolve here we're going to continue the siege but look at that they've got these mortars the swine rot in the side. hopefully the dutch will put these down the rest of the french here but we have pretty much effectively removed this french force as a threat here as you can see here we're now starting to bring in quite a bit oh 10,000 look at that beautiful and all the trade lines apart from Prussia which is at the moment I believe being hit by a, a Venetian fleet here is under you know is pretty much good look at this what the armies the Dutch have got here they really have managed to put themselves in a very very nice even keel here I think they can probably deal with the Westphalians themselves to be honest with you um, they've definitely got the armies to do so and look at this what an army this is in here look at that beautiful so hopefully they may even come in and take Strasbourg for themselves if they do I can retreat this force back to Paris and I can then refurbish it replenish it and we are then looking pretty good and we're actually at peace with Spain because of course we've taken Tangier off them as well we've got Gibraltar off them as well we're at war either. Right? Have a quick recap here. Pretty forgotten here. Just France. Only France we're at war with here. Um, of course, Barbary State, which is a given, but only only France. We're going to make the most of our peace time, of the peace we have at the moment. As you can see, most of these armies have been in uh, some serious, serious fights, and it's going to take a long time for them to recover. But I do want to try and get all of these up as best I can, especially getting ro metal roads, which will definitely increase and improve our trade. Out here, what have we got here? Metal roads already here. We've already got the Palacio Real de Madrid. We definitely want to get military academy up ASAP into these areas. Um, Naval College will give us fair or good here. We would also need great arsenal, which would give us 12 pounder howitzers, which is definitely what we need. But as you can see here, we do have a lot of peace here. Oh, look at that! Excellent. Portugal is quite a big trading nation with us here and Britain itself is nice and calm we have all of the ports and all of the major ports at least secured by these fleets but we, we do need to get ourselves some more ships here yeah we've got one more in the production line here being built in Portsmouth let's end the... Oh, right, look, look at our research here oh, we've got plenty coming in here we're actually looking to get army board so we might get oh cold stream guards that will definitely be a nice oh and it's already on board it's already in production so cold stream guards could soon be coming out very nice we need to get them here in in Scotland that's where I get the cold stream guards so I need to get Scottish or Edinburgh should I say um, having the army board hopefully I can do that pretty soon but we're at peace with everybody else here as you can see Prussia has expanded quite extensively here Russia is also really flexing its muscles here quite a bit it has taken quite a lot of land here but anyway my friends let us end this turn and see what happens Oh, ho, ho, ho. Looks like they're coming back for a bit more action, maybe. No. Maybe not. Oh, come on. Come on now. Come on now, Netherlands. You can do it. Looks like they're coming to support us, which is excellent. Go on, strike out. Take out. Take care of those French armies. Oh, looks like we might get some friends here. If we try and take that town, we might get the auto resolve in our favour. If we've got the. Oh, excellently done, Prussia. Excellently done. Mind you, look at Prussia. That has expanded hugely. What an empire they've got. Hopefully they can repair that as well, Prussia. Ottomans looks like they are building 
or at least putting their construction to great use here, which is good for us. We do have trade with the Ottomans. A large empire. With plenty of trade for us. Ah, Russia will Russia will do indeed. Nothing at the moment. Over Portugal, a nice little dance there. I'm not. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute there. Where exactly are you going there, my old friend? Venice, you just leave. Yeah, that's right. You leave the Prussians alone. Don't read the trade line. Don't read the trade line. States pirates. Oh yes, Spain bringing in the money. Excellent. So we've got another ship here. And that's actually going to be moved up to here. I think we're pretty low on ships up here yet. Got eleven thousand. Now we're starting. To ooh, ooh, that's a quite a drop there. What's been hit? Oh, Prussia again! Come on, Prussia, get that money, get that port fixed for goodness sake. Are they in range of us? No, they're not. I don't believe so. Nope, we're not going to be. No, they've even moved these in as well as. That's not looking good for us at all here, so we're going to stay here. If the, if the Dutch were to move in, then the, we would have the facility we... Oh, actually, are they, are they at war with Wittenberg? That could be the problem right there. I don't want to get dragged into a war with Wittenberg as well. Wittenberg. Okay, they're unfriendly. They're at war... No, they're not. They're just war at war with Poland. Okay, that's fine. Looks like Russia might be extending its grip here. Right, now I can start. Ooh, look at all this I can do here. What I want, do want to do though is increase I do want Coldstream Guards, but that's quite expensive to get Coldstream Guards at the moment. What I'm going to get here, nothing that I can bring from Britain, that's for sure. The army here is solid. I think I can invest in my infrastructure at the moment more than anything else. Um, here here. That's already been gotten here. These outer reaches of the Empire will have to remain as they are at the moment. Oh, hello. And I'll take that for definite. Thank you very much. These will have to stay as they are. We don't really have the facilities as yet. 8969. Is there anyone else we can trade with here? Venice, but they're unfriendly with us. Got some technology here for them, maybe a socket bayonet. Okay, let's throw something else at them here. I want to try and get as much trade as I can. Okay, they are obviously not interested at all, which is fine. Can we get peace with no, we don't want peace with France. We want to finish France off once and for all. What I... I don't know how are these gentlemen doing here. Almost, almost fully replenished here. This army is going to be pretty good here at the moment. We've got this army, which is ah, fully replenished. Brought back up to rude health here. 
um, here as well. Everything is looking pretty good at the moment. Oh, we've got the Royal Welsh here. Let's just disband that. We don't need the militia for the moment. You were building a... Gunnery school we need here. Naval board. Gunnery school, that's what we do need, gunnery school. But I've got to invest wisely. I'm actually going to get an opera house. And the reason I'm getting an opera house is happiness, but also plus two to town for wealth. Mind you, I do need to keep my these going quite quick. Ooh. Government chambers would be better for us, actually, in the context. So we're actually going to go for government chambers here. I've got to squeeze every ounce out of my economy while I've got peace. And also the Dutch here are pretty strong, so they're actually going to support us, I think, for quite a long time here. Hopefully they'll move this army in and deal with the... the the French here, because yeah, they're at war. Yeah, there it is. They're at war with pretty much everybody here. Actually, let's have a quick look over how the Americas and um, everything else is doing. Ooh, look at America, Jeepers Creepers! They really are absolutely going for it big time here. They're at war with the United States. France. Oh, the Iroquois. I wonder if they're going to push on the Iroquois soon. Well, that's not for us to worry about just yet. Oh, look at that. Rupert's Land. Yeah, of course we swap that out. So I've got to look at our assets in India. Again, they, they're fine with us. They're at peace with us. We don't have anything yet apart from this army here, which is probably pretty much the last stand in India, as it were. But we wouldn't stand a chance against these. Look at this. The sheer amount of troops they've got. Not the qu not the quality, but the quantity of troops they've got is breathtaking. So we would be pretty squeezed for, you know, pretty much here. So that's why we have to watch what we're doing. But mind you, we've got an excellent trade um, a trade links with them. And I think, my friends, we're going to end this turn as well. Let's have a quick look what happens here. Fra <coughs> okay, France. Looks like they want to take on the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Looks like they're having to go with the Dutch here. What will the Dutch do? The Dutch must strike back. Much like the Empire. Come on now. Don't be afraid of them. Oh, look at that. They've gone. They whoa, look at this. What are they doing? Oh, yes. Nicely done there, my friends. Beautifully done. Oh, look at this. Yes. Come on now. Come on now. Did they do it? Did they take it? I hope they did. I'll be fantastic if they did. I can't quite tell yet, but I hope the Dutch took it. Uh, oh. Oh, military alliance. Yeah, I'll take that for definite. What a strong alliance that'll be. Wow. Absolutely. Look at that. Those those these two empires together are going to be pretty formidable. Especially with the Russians very, very strong at the moment. Extremely powerful the Russians are at the moment. Got to keep an eye on things here, my friends. Now the Ottomans, they've been pretty casual and cool at the moment here. But never take your eye off these sort of larger empires. They can always turn at a flick of a switch. They really can. The Ottomans and Russians can be a tad temperamental when it comes to them seeing you expanding. You've got to keep your eye on them at all times, my friends. Always try and have forces available to deal with such threats. But it seems quite a way off. But never say never. Never say never, my friends. Mughal. Look at the forces they've got there. Luckily, we're still on their good books. If they want to steal some technology, then so be it. If they keep some happy, then so be it. Hmm. Venice. We we're not reading the good books of the Prussians, and I wish the Prussians would deal with Venice. Don't leave it just, ah, oh, you absolute fiends. Wait a minute, Did West, is Westphalia gone? Courland? I think, 
that Louisiana there? Yeah, Barbary States. Wait a minute, uh, France, France could be gone. France could be gone. Oh yes indeed! Quebec! France is gone! The Dutch took it, Strasbourg! Oh, 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 oh. You mess with the you mess with the British, my friends, you would get taken down. Oh, look at that, France is gone. Oh, Westphalia have gone. Holy smokes. Look at that, the Dutch have gone absolutely full tilt against them. Oh my word. What an absolute blitzkrieg that was then. Oh, Bengal. Let's have a quick look here. What can we build here? Let's get a class workshop up here. And we've got coming here. Oh, look at that. That is a beautiful site. Nothing's going to be put into here just yet, actually. No, I'll leave that as it is, but I'm not going to pump any money into this region just yet. Oh. Yeah, we're going to start getting our economy up and running. Look at the Dutch. They have absolutely stretched right across here. And right, let me have a look how they view them here. Provinces. At war with Hanover. There's Hanover here. So I'm I'm guessing the Hanover is going to be the next target of the Dutch. Look at that. The Dutch have really flexed their muscles here. By damn, they've come out from the blocks, all guns blazing. We're actually going to pull our troops out of here. Um, and we're going to bring them back into spare into uh, Paris. These might be sent now back to India. We're going to replenish in Paris and we're then going to look at sending them back to India. Uh, now we've got this formidable ally here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. excellent, excellent. What a great site that is. What a fantastic site that is. Look at this. This is beautiful. And they've even moving in more troops. They're building more troops here. They got ships galore. They've got a formidable fleet. We're going to leave the Dutch to deal with their own their own empire they've carved out here. We're gonna deal with our own. We're gonna take care of our own empire here. It looks like everything here is nice and settled at the moment. Everything is calm. So what we are going to do is we're going to recruit another ship and then we're going to build what can we build here as well? It's probably best if we focus. Um I think we'll have a gunnery school here in, in London. And slowly my friends, slowly we're going to bring ourselves up to Yeah, I think I'm going to put together the now our. I'm going to say this very, very tentatively here, very carefully. What I say here, I'm going to now start to focus on looking at India again. Now we've dealt with the European problem. We've got a strong alliance with Prussia. We've got a strong alliance with the Dutch, which now stretches pretty much across our borders here. We're at peace with Spain. We've got enough troops in Paris, and we've got enough troops in the south here in Tangier and, and that to look after themselves. Britain now is going to become the economic hub that it deserves to be. We've now got the f the Dutch pretty much stretching their muscles. The chances are that they're going to probably take over Hanover next. Um, now they've taken Cologne. And I... Where, 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 there they are there. So actually I can move my spy out of here. And... We're going to bring him back. He's going to be joining this army here where he's going to be sent to India. Uh, the Dutch can look after themselves. We've got pretty much all of this is now cut off so we've got now this buffer zone between us and Paris. I'm not going to move this army out anytime soon. I might replace it with some just some garrison line infantry here and move these elite troops out. But until I'm until this is completely secure because you never know the Dutch might might go to war with Württemberg and they might get dragged into quite a fight so I've got to be 
I've got to keep my eye on the prize here, as it were. But I'm going to make London the absolute capital of our empire, the hub of our empire. Make sure it's completely... Um, actually, I'll probably build an opera house here as well, just to make sure that we've got this... <coughs> Ooh, someone said house. It's quite a nice... But I haven't got enough money for that. That's, that's quite a... That's quite a big ask there to get that. That's going to really, you know, take the money out of our purse there, as it were, quite a lot. Anyway, let's end the turn, my friends. Some quick turnarounds here. Mike, this is probably the last turn of this episode. I'm probably going to go for three, but if you want it, my friends, I might go for a four-episode part like I did with the USA, just for the, just for the new year, just for the, you know, for the 2015, at the start of 2015. It's good to see the Dutch are back. <clears throat> Prussia, again, we're allied with Prussia, military alliance, so we're pretty, we've got some pretty formidable f allies in this region here. And with the French gone, that just unleashes or unlocks the door for us here. It really does, to economic and military might. Now we can focus, there it is, my friends, now we can focus on India. We can now send that army that's been fighting in Europe, and remember, it is now a vastly experienced army. It really does have a lot of experience fighting. They've been knee-deep in mud and blood on the Western Front, and now they're going to be sent to India. And then look out, my friends, then look out. But we're going to have to have a lot of forces in India to be able to deal with the, with the Mughal Empire. Because, believe me, they are a potent, potent force. The sheer number of men they got at the disposal is quite scary. But if I can break the back of that main force, we've got ourselves in a pretty good position. Jeepers creepers, how many forces have they got here? I'm going to have to get some spies into India and just size up what I'm up against because I just can't go in there completely blind. If I do, I will be utterly, utterly vanquished. And all they'll do then is send troops over to Europe and everything I've worked for will be gone. Oh, you absolute fiends. Oh, well done, Portugal. Well done. Six army upkeep. That is fantastic. Ooh, ooh, minus five. Yeah, that attack, oh, that's not good. That is not good. We, oh, it is. Whew, look at that. What an exceptional. Oh no. Our general has died. One of the great generals mourning, my friends, Henry Damasu. Excellent, Morocco. Actually, do we need a port there? I don't think we're going to make that into a trade route. Let's get out. Oh. That could be now be repaired, which it has been like that for a long time. We've got a major fishery here, which is going to bring in what for us? 400. Oh, excellent. Coming in next turn. Oh, 11, 7, 8, 9. What's out? Oh, look at that. Our tax income is absolutely right up there, which is nice because it pretty much deals with all of the army upkeep. Right, you can move into outside of Paris, outside of the scene here. Oh, if they could take out Han Hanover, it would be fantastic. Are they replenishing their men? I can only hope they are. And please repair these. What can I send them? Can I send them anything in recognition? Oh, hostile Sweden. I rather wouldn't mind to get a trade agreement. Yes. What about Sweden? Let's send them. Okay. Alright, Sweden, if that's how you want to play it. That's what I mean. I've got to keep my eye on Sweden. They are a pretty formidable nation if you leave them uncontested. <coughs> that's why I'm going to build some more ships. Right, what have we got left to build here? Naval board. And a 
again if I want Britain to be the absolute hub here of our nation. I knew we didn't need it, but metal roads, let's get this up and running here. Admiralty. What I do need to do is get these gentlemen back up and running here. As you can see, they've taken quite a beating here. But mind you, the Grenadiers held firm here. They actually came out of this pretty well. But some of these other regiments didn't, but I'm just going to build up, get these gentlemen back up to running here. And just these. Harry Dudley. He fought with discipline and with courage. Look at these now. I've got a nice army here. This is going back to India, believe me, my friends. This gentleman will be joining this army. Oh, look at this. <laughs> now, anywhere else I can build up here? None of these yet. I got to make Britain the hub. I've got to get Britain up to as best I can possibly can at the moment. <coughs> Naval board. Actually, let's get the naval board up. What do I need for... Right, that's got six turns to go. We've got a naval board already being built here, but I'd want to get everything I can, but... Actually, I might as well put in... our house here. So point get a naval board here if I've already got one somewhere else I can wait. We've got two seven nine to spend. Ordnance factory. Actually, let's start our forces being rebuilt here for our Indian campaign. Uh, two three there three more regiments ready for our campaign one more turn my friends and that will be it then I can end this turn here and then that will be it for the episode and what an eventful episode it has been oh look at that they're moving in possibly to Hanover mm, Spain Prussia. I just hope that the Dutch don't get tangled in with Prussia. I just wish Sweden would push these out here. Push out Denmark from here. Poland is still about. The Ottomans. Uh, the Ottomans expanded over here. Whoa, whoa, what what the place is Portugal doing there? Wow, that's a big force there. Wow. Ooh. Come on, Sweden, for goodness sake, push out those Danish. Mughal Empire. Yeah, looks like they're sniffing around for more technology. Ooh, looks like ooh, looks like Hanover have come. Ooh, looks like the, come on now, come on now, Netherlands, don't lose everything you've just 
you've worked for so hard. Whoa, come on now. So much trade being blocked off, we got things out of our control. Venice has been an absolute thorn in my side in terms of them raiding trade lines and look at that, go away. Oh, unbelievable. Luckily I've got a trade link with these, but that is unbelievable. I've got an over overland trade route, but it's blooming marvellous, isn't it? Let's have a look at this. Look, Portugal completely cut off. Prussia cut off. <sighs> no. Okay. So. Just in case that Sweden gets might get a little bit hostile with us. I'm gonna make sure I've got my own fleet to deal with the Swedish. Excellent, excellent. Now we're starting to put together quite a nice force here. Oh, lifeguards. I think three of those will definitely be oh, oh. Oh my good guards units, that's going to be fantastic. Now is everything, yep, all the infrastructures here is fine. Ordnance factory here, not yet. Remember, most of our troops are going to be coming in from... Wow, that's a big chunk of money right there. He can definitely be brought back up. He fought with Valor, so we can actually leave him in there. He's earned his spurs. He's not too bad, so I'm going to bring him up and this one here as well. These other, these, this he'll definitely have to wait. This gentleman here. Oh, Weaver's Cottage. Yes, please. 450. The division of labour. Can I get any of these from a different nation? I wonder. Oh, one of these is going to have to stop. I'm afraid. And it's probably Oxford is actually going to be switched to Light Infantry Doctrine. I want Queen's Rangers as well eventually. What else do we have here? That needs, I know we've got these here to be replenished or built, should I say, but still. Ah, ah, we should have. There it is. We're going to have another trading port here. That's been fully brought back up to yes, excellent. Right, let's not mess about anymore. Let's bring in naval board here. So now London is going to be absolutely the maximum it can be at the moment. We are going to try and let's see if we can negotiate with sweet enemies. Pro oh, Russia, Denmark, trading partners. Let's see if they can trade with us. Obviously, don't like us at all, which is fine. Let's have a look at the Mughal. Let's see what they've got in terms of technology. Blind each other, they've got a lot of technology here. I wouldn't mind that for that. Fine with me. What about. and that for let's get that not a problem Ottomans let's see what they've got Ottomans technology Ooh. 
vote for that. Selective breeding. Nope, they obviously don't like that at all. What Poland was Poland got? It's just got that. We'll give it fire by rank for that. Okay. I'll put Prussia. Maybe they'll be... Oh, they've got everything. What Russia? What have you got? Oh, you've got selective breeding as well. What I was to give you that for that. Doesn't like anybody wants to trade with us. Oh, come on, you must have you must want to. Very much good, sir. Right, states, let's have a look what you've got. What have you got? Absolutely nothing at all. Ah, they got United Promises. Excellent. I think I'll send them five. I think I'll send them those. Ooh, 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 ooh. Savoy have got down here. There was, oh, look at that. Oh, they've taken the Iroquois territory here. Looks like the Iroquois are going to be breaking. The re whoa, whoa, whoa. The, the reason I did that was to give them America. Because if America is strong, it means we get more trade from them because they are able to get more land, which gives us more trade with them. As you can see here, I want to get trade partners with them. As soon as I get a, a new port open, I can then trade with the United States. That's going to give us a lot of income from the United States. But my friends, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It's been quite an eventful episode. It really has. It looks like the Dutch have actually pushed on against the Hanoverians here, which is great news, actually, because it means if they can capture this as well, their empire is just is absolutely huge here in Western Europe. They've got a huge chunk of the centre of Europe, at least. They might even go for Stutt Stuttgart next. You never know. But they've got Strasbourg, and they've taken everything else around here. They really have done fantastically well. I hope my friends have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please comment, like, and subscribe. Please keep your comments coming down below. They're always, always most gratefully received, my friends. I can promise you a lot, but I'm going to make the most of the peace we've got here to build up my forces because, my friends, we are going back to India. What started off as our Indian campaign had to be put on hold as we dealt with the problems in Western Europe. And now, my friends, we're going to go back to India and we're going to deal with what is probably the largest amount of armies I've ever seen in one place in any campaign. This is actually quite frightening. But we are not going to shirk or risk or back down from this. We will head on. Take this hit head on, my friends, with the troops we have. Because I believe in them. But my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, game my friends, please keep your comments coming down below. They're always grateful to receive. Please let me know what you want to do. And if you please if you want any units renamed, please, you know jog my memory again because it's been quite a while since I played this before. I played this so please jog my memories. I haven't actually done that. I should do, I should do that next time. I'm going to start reinvesting in India now my friends if I get some more armies back here. But until next time my friends, what well, I can promise you probably a lot more campaign map action and you never know one or two battles might spring up from somewhere. But until next time my friends bye for now.